Hey guys, it's Chelsea and today I'm coming at you in a video with my glasses on. I'm not a big fan of wearing uh, my glasses on camera because obviously they reflect and it can be a bit distracting and weird looking. But anyway, I wanted to sit down and film this video and just have a bit of, a bit of a chat with you guys about something that's very personal. First I just want to say I'm sorry this video, you know I told you guys I was going to be posting uh, once a week. This video is I think kind of coming up to almost the end of that but I'm sorry I you know it was like New Year's and then me and Josh celebrated our kind of like four year anniversary and then um what's it called and then I went and visited him this past weekend so I really just haven't had time to sit down and film but I do now and that's why I'm making this video for you guys what I want to talk to you guys about today is something a little personal but it's something I think about from time to time when the subject arises and it makes me feel a certain type of way and I just kind of want to talk about it and just to put it out there into the universe that if you're watching, you know, my what I'm about to talk about and stuff and you feel the same way, you're not alone and you're not weird or different or there's nothing wrong with you. There's plenty of people like myself that kind of feel this way in the world and it's nothing to be ashamed of. So you may be thinking, what are we going to talk about? Of course, you know about the talk by the title. But basically, my whole life, even now at 21 years old, I I don't know what it is <laughs> but I'm not great with kids and I don't know how that kind of comes off to you but let me just kind of explain this um I actually got inspired to make this video by I believe it was the H3H3 podcast and they had Philip DeFranco on which if you don't know who Philip DeFranco is he does kind of like news and stuff here on YouTube and I, I watch his videos all the time. I'm not subscribed which is interestingly enough but they always pop up at my recommended so I don't feel the need to subscribe <laughs> but anyway off topic. He was on their podcast and he was talking about his kids and vasectomy and and things of that nature and he talked about how he was kind of the same way. He was never really into kids and he thought people this this is, doesn't need to come off bad but just kind of like people that are really into kids you know when a kid's in the room like oh my god like goo goo ga ga like you know are all crazy and oh my how old is it and kind of lose their minds over it um he always thought those people were a little creepy and weird and could just kind of take that with a grain of salt people don't get offended okay it's just it's yeah so anyway he always kind of felt that way until he had his own child and then now he's just like this great dad and not only does he love his children and is great with them you know he's the dad at the park now and playing with other kids and stuff and whatever so yeah so I watched that podcast and it really struck a chord with me because it's something that I've kind of thought about especially during um, like the past time of year like Christmas and Thanksgiving because those are the times where I visit a lot of my family because obviously we don't have like a kid in my house um but that's the time where we, i my family visits our distant relatives who have you know kids and grandkids and newborns and all sorts of stuff so you know that's where i really get to interact with them the most and you guys <laughs> i i understand where philip defranco is coming from in that and it sucks because him being a male it's a little more understandable i feel you know that you're not I don't know you just don't have that instinct with kids and that's kind of like how I feel you know I don't have that instinct of you know when a baby's in the room like wanting to hold it and stuff like that I honestly I can count the number of times I've actually held a child because I feel like I'm gonna break them and I'm super nervous and being a woman you feel very ashamed that you're not this overly like oh my god like this baby and this just makes me want to have kids and blah 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 and it's interesting because I do feel like I want kids I just am very nervous about it and I feel like I will go through what Philip DeFranco went through and that is once you have your own child things are different and you you really start to understand but you're not necessarily that way with other people's children and I kind of feel like that's how I'm gonna be 
because of that I feel like I don't have a ton of pressure to have kids if that makes sense it's like one of those things where it's like a distant goal and like yeah if the opportunity arises you know I fall pregnant and whatnot okay I'm gonna have this kid but is it something like some women out there who are just like oh my god I gotta be pregnant by this age and all this stuff no I'm not like that and I feel like there's nothing wrong with either way whether you don't want kids you severely want kids you fall in the middle kind of like me and there's just a lot of shame being being a woman and admitting that and I just want to put it out there in the universe that don't feel bad it doesn't mean that you don't that you lack maternal instincts like I feel like those are some things that kick in for some people before they have a kid and kick in for some people when they have a kid and for some people never kick in and then they don't and they choose not to be a parent and that's fine so what I just wanted to kind of say with this video is if you're a woman or a girl and you don't feel that kind of like connection to like babies and and this you know crazy drive to like have kids and be around kids and, and be this you know great person around kids and <laughs> whatnot I don't know how to explain it it's kind of weird this is kind of a weird video to make I don't know if you anyone out there is gonna be able to relate or understand what I'm saying at all but it's something I wanted to make because especially after the time of year that just passed you know uh, November December where you're spending a lot of time with family it's definitely something I always realize you know and and it's like I love kids like I don't have an issue with them I'm not one of those people that's like oh get your kid off me but I'm not one of those people that's just like oh my god and you know picking the kid up and holding it and loving it and stuff like that I'm just I don't know I'm just kind of awkward around kids that's the perfect word awkward I don't know what to say I don't know how to be you know I feel like I'm one second away from just making them cry and burst out in tears <laughs> and maybe I overthink it but that's just kind of the way I feel and any of you out there that feel the same way whether you're a man or a woman just know that it's normal and know that um, maybe it is a sign that you don't want kids or it just means that you know when you have your own kid that things will change and um, yeah so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today I know it's not a super long in-depth video um, but I do have a video I've got a couple videos planned I've got one I want to make about uber eats y'all because I got some shit to say about uber eats and what else do I have I have a uh, video for my dating series about like fuck boys and whatnot I want to make and I also want to make a video about my kind of workout routine stuff and just kind of explain my workout routine explain my workout motivation and things like that so I hope you guys are excited for those videos to come I forgot to say happy 2018 <laughs> happy new year y'all uh, I hope it's starting out well and that you guys are all taking this time uh, to maybe initiate some changes in your life and reflect and whatnot like I said in my last video So anyway, hope you guys are having a good new year. Uh, follow me at life of Chelsea. That's where You know, I like to tweet out, uh, you know things going on video ideas when I post a new video and things of that nature so Twitter at life of Chelsea got some new videos coming up I know this video is kind of weird and random, but I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it makes sense and I hope that you guys, uh, some of you out there can relate. And yeah, so I will see you guys next time and bye.